Today we are going to be recreating the iconic meal from Lady and the Tramp. Dog friendly spaghetti. Let's do it. We're going to be making some meatballs out of some pork which will add a little bit of moisture as well as some ground turkey. Both very lean. So we're going to use roughly what looks like a cup of each. We've got some plain breadcrumbs. We'll add about a third of a cup of this as well as one egg. Great, some pecorino romano cheese. And then we're gonna add a dash of Italian herbs. Pinch of sage, a little bit of thyme, pinch of marjoram, oregano, and dill. And then we mix. If it's too wet, you can always add more breadcrumbs, but this looks pretty good. Okay. Next, we're gonna be cooking our meatballs in tomato sauce. It's very important that you don't use spaghetti sauce or any other form other than just pure tomatoes, just because spaghetti sauce has a lot of things that can be harmful to dogs. And we have a little bit of tomato paste to also thicken the sauce. If you notice in the Lady and the Trout movie, the spaghetti that they have does not have like a lot of sauce in it. So we're just gonna be coating our noodles and meatballs in the sauce, but not really pouring it all over. We have our saucepan. We're gonna heat over medium heat and add our tomato sauce. And I think it's a good idea to add some of our Italian seasoning to the sauce. Ooh, look at those. Now we're gonna cook our whole wheat spaghetti. Pasta for the doggies. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Romeo and Juliet was first performed on this day in 1595. No doubt Shakespeare was a master of the English language. I wonder what his work would sound like if it were written today. Maybe Juliet's classic line would be, Romeo, Romeo, OMG, where are you? Seriously. And then Romeo can be like, New phone, who dis? The start of a new month means Gatsby needs to take his heartworm medication as well as his flea and tick medication. Are you ready? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no. Yo. Sit. Good dog. Yum, 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 yum. Swim, 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 swim. And since it's February, I have some new product merchandise announcements that were supposed to be released in the last vlog, but they're coming out right now. By the way, thank you so much to everyone who bought our Corgi on Fleek folders here. They were a huge hit. Awesome way to store and organize all of your papers. It definitely brightens my taxes. Our new product is more closely tied to Valentine's Day. Corgi love cards. Let's see what it says on the inside. I love you with all my butt. <laughs> and here's the back. And if you want to make your loved ones Valentine's Day even a little bit more special, we are also doing a limited run of Gatsby signed cards as well. Then whenever your loved one's at work, they can just display this near their computer. And whenever they're feeling down, they can just flip it up and look at Gatsby's actual paw print here. 
But you'll need to hurry because Valentine's Day is coming up really soon. So if you want to get your Valentine's Day shopping done, you can get them a card, vinyl stickers, folders, a beanie, a signed calendar. Make sure to go to corgionfleek.com as soon as the vlog is over to check out all of the merchandise and send that special person some corgi love. We gotta get you ready for tonight. Good job. This worked pretty well. I just got it from Amazon. You just search for like pet nail grinder. I'll put a link in the description to this one if you want. But Gatsby, look at those paws. So much healthier looking nails. Brushing you for your big night with Tembi. Look at all that fur coming off. Oh my gosh, the most handsome dog in the world. For the most part, the legs are filling in. I'm making some good hamstring gains. <laughs> I'm gonna head over there right now. See you guys there. Hey! Are you ready to go on a hike? Ready? Look how beautiful it is today. There's like no clouds in the sky. And it finally warmed up in the Bay Area, which is super nice. We can go back on to hiking. Yeah. Look at this view. Just keep climbing. Just keep climbing. Probably not the best idea to do leg day on the same day. Gatsby, we made it! See? Look at that view! That was such a nice hike, wasn't it? Short, but it was good. And nobody's here, we don't have to share with anyone. That's the best part! Golden Gate Bridge in glorious full frame. Okay, I think it's time for us to head back. Whenever there's a nice day, you gotta celebrate it by going outside. Good job, Gatsby. People have been asking me, what's going on with your tank? And the answer is the same. Having said that though, I'm gonna check out my friend's aquarium store to see what he has. Let's go. Hey everyone, as I started editing the footage today, I just realized the microphone had a malfunction for the next few segments. So I'm gonna provide vocal commentary on everything that happened. My friend finally got his aquarium store set up. Check out that baby shark. That dude is sleeping. He also got an additional stingray since he's like one of the only people I know that can take care of them. Anyway, he tested my water and then I went off to the supermarket to grab all the ingredients for both the Lady in the Trap meal as well as for my dinner. I thought those were worms, but it turns out they were spiralized beet noodles. Don't they look gross? We got a bell pepper. We had to get a tablecloth for Gatsby. A grilled cheese pan that's so specific. Doo -doo -doo. Oh look, there's six dollars worth of Sour Patch Kids. Went and grabbed some breadsticks for the table and I stopped by the donuts and these donuts caught my eye because look how poorly they were decorated. <laughs> feta, 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 feta. Get it better. Now we're headed back home after we pick up Tembi. And now that the corgis have their dinner, it's time for me to make mine. Today I'm gonna make something that I made up. So today I thought I would just make something very healthy and simple. We're just cutting up some bell peppers, onions, and mincing some garlic. We got a pan, we're gonna drizzle some olive oil on, and we're gonna make some garlicky kale in one of the pans. And in the other pan, we're gonna start by stir frying some onions. Then we'll add the bell peppers in. And then we're gonna add the other half of the ground turkey. Crumble it. We're gonna season it with some garlic and onion powder, as well as some salt and pepper. And then add some sake to it, mainly for flavor. The alcohol evaporates when you cook with it. Then in the other pan, now that the garlic is fragrant, we're gonna start with our kale. Carefully fry an egg. Ooh, look at that, garlicky kale. We're also gonna slice an avocado, as well as fry a tomato. Check out our rice cooker. 
So we're gonna start with rice, add some kale on top. Mmm. Then tomatoes, turkey. We got our bell peppers and onions, egg and avocado. Sprinkle some feta cheese on top. And I know a lot of people like to add ketchup. I'm gonna use some Japanese tonkatsu barbecue sauce instead. And voila! Oh, I also picked up some pop chips to add some crunch. Okay, let's try this out. That adds a nice crunch. I don't think I need the barbecue sauce. Other than that, it tastes pretty good. I think the sake flavoring it was good enough. Mmm, satisfying crunch. It's good, the kale turned out good, nice and garlicky. Avocado's creamy, egg adds like a richness. And it was all about the pop chip. It tastes really good together. Super simple meal, but it tastes really good. Good job. Guys, if you have a family or a friend, you should try it at home. Thanks for watching us. Guess that cookie on the reaction. Guess, Guess that cookie. Guess that corgi. It's Gatsby. It is. Thanks for watching us play Guess That Corgi on Blog After College. Yeah. What are they doing? They're watching us. Yes, we can get down. Oh, oh. Okay, thank you. Thank you too much, too much. That's gonna do it for us for our episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out all of the Valentine's cards. You were so dapper today, Gatsby. So we're gonna go and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Today, we are gonna be testing out Gatsby products. You mean these? Not quite. I mean these. It's Gatsby. Gatsby is a men's grooming brand? Fun to groom. Perfect holds extra hard. Come